Hi! I know it's been a while, so I'm so excited to come back and do January for your sign. Um, where I've been, I will, when I have some time, make a longer, more intensive video about that, if you care. But I think most of you just kind of want to know what's going on for my January. So this video is going to be a little bit longer. I had out my pendulum. I had out, like, seven or eight different decks of cards. I had out, like, even some, like, astrology dice. Um, so there's a lot in this video. And I will also uh, put somewhere on my website a little cheat sheet to help you get through the month. It's going to have your lucky days. It's going to have your unlucky days, the general theme. Um, what else does it have in it? Oh, of course your power crystal, your power color. It's going to have affirmations, which chakra you want to focus on this month, how you can spiritually evolve, blah, blah, blah. It's like the all-encompassing January. Like, get you off on the right foot right out the gate for this brand new year. So I'm so excited to do this for you and let's just get into it. I keep forgetting to mention this, but for those of you who um, don't know, if you go to my website, and there's like a link in the description box below, you can sign up to win a free reading every month. And so like you just sign up once and you're automatically in the drawing forever style. And so I just wanted to let you know. Hi Taurus, welcome to January. So interesting thing with your luckiest day and your unluckiest day, they're the same. You have the fifth as your luckiest day of the month as well as your unluckiest day of the month. So that could go a couple different ways. It could be something unlucky happens that ends up to be a blessing. Or it could be this day goes either really well for some people or really poorly for other people, um, depending on which camp you're in, the decisions you make. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> anyway, um, I guess... I think the way the place I want to start, I've done everybody's readings in a little bit different order, is with the um, astrology energies. So this isn't necessarily what's in your astrological chart for this month. It's just like the astrological vibes that you'll be experiencing this month, okay? And so your vibe is one of Mars, which is um, masculine energies and like the pursuit of goals and things like that in the fourth house of like home and family. And then you also have have this energy of Jupiter, like luck and expansion, in the second house of money and possessions. So it's like luck and um, more money possible, like big purchases, those kind of things. That's kind of the, the vibe that you're in, but then also like goals for your home and your family. So it might be about like, if you combine those, buying a new home, buying a car, you know, something like that. So anyway, that's kind of where we're going to start. Now, the, the color energy, I think, is where I want to go next. The color energy for you is rainbow. So it's like if you're going to imagine like a light ray coming over you and kind of working through your body, through your chakras, you're going to want to do that in this rainbow light. And the interesting thing about this card as well as this one that we have for you is that they both talk about regeneration. So maybe some of you have been um, recently ill or injured, or um, maybe it's, you know, you've suffered some sort of a loss, like in your finances, for example, and it's just about regenerating what used to be, okay? So with the rainbow energy, it says connecting to spirit and nature. So going outside and connecting with that um, nature element or bringing plants into your home if you live somewhere cold, you know, touching a tree, that kind of a thing, is really going to help you embrace this light of this rainbow light. And rainbow lights kind of just work on everything. But like I said, the key word here is regeneration. And so um, we definitely want to be 
connecting to our spiritual like higher selves but also like the spiritual environment around us now when i was talking about regeneration your tarot theme for the month is ace of wands so it's like new beginnings new starts that you're passionate about that you're excited about and this is good like if you're passionate or excited about you know a new business or a new purchase you're going to make or a move um so there's all of this fire here, and the fire is important in regards to that key term of regeneration, because what do fires do, right? It'll burn down a forest, okay, like all of these existing trees, and that forest was nice, it was good to look at, you know, whatever, it provided homes for all these squirrels and shit, but then after it burns down, like all these new ones start to pop up, and that's this energy that we have here, like things kind of come apart, in 2018 or last December or whenever so that new things can regenerate and as I mentioned from like a health aspect this could be um, some sort of a healing for you if that is your specific situation but you know for um, Tauruses generally I don't like to get that specific um, unless it's a personal reading so anyway um, this fire this passion this drive is going to sprout you know, and Ace, or, I'm sorry, Wands energy is often, you know, very creative. So your creativity can like sprout and bloom into these beautiful, wonderful, successful things with red being the color of success. Um, should you have that third eye open? Okay. And this is also kind of, it looks like uh, because of the background color, it looks like a hand chakra. So it's like putting your hands to work to, to, work to generate something beautiful and abundant. The thing about wands is like, so they grow, right? Like a flower. And then they have all these buds that come off of it. So just starting one thing, planting a seed and being excited to watch it grow means that you have all of these other wonderful little growths that pop off of it, right? As a result of that main energy, like there's multiple blessings to be had if you can maintain your enthusiasm and just remember like sometimes we got to throw things away for new more beautiful things to pop up and regenerate. So how are you going to do that? Well, you're going to release any fears that you have in your sacral chakra. Your sacral chakra is the chakra for you to focus on this month. Um, and that is the one that holds all of our fears and our doubts. Okay. So this is the chakra that you'll want to focus most on. It's the one below your belly button, and it's that orange color, which kind of correlates with all of this. Now, speaking of orangey tones, we've got this um, reddish-orange tone about success, but also releasing our fear. And um, this is your affirmation for the month. It says, I'm a limitless being, and I can manifest whatever I desire into physical reality. Okay, you can, but you have to be passionate and enthused. Look at how similar these are, like the shapes and the colors. Okay, so finding that enthusiasm, letting go of fear, um, connecting to, you know, the spiritual realm via nature is going to really help you. And why is it nature specifically and not just the higher self? Well, because we're talking about growth and regeneration, and that's what plants do, right? They grow, they bloom. This is your month to start blooming and remember that you have nothing to fear as far as um, limits, okay? Anything that is in your way, any obstacle, you can burn it down with that fire energy. You are a limitless being and can manifest whatever you desire into physical reality. So, um, as far as spiritual hobbies go, you know, some people might have astrology or tarot or pendulums. For you this month, the focus is on exercise. And so, like, if you can get outside to exercise, you're double you're doubling down on the spiritual benefits for that. But a part of this is like how I was saying, maybe some Tauruses have recently been ill or injured or something like that. This is going to help you to like regenerate muscles, to like re um generate maybe a routine that you've set to the side because of, um, you know, like the holidays. This is uh, maybe helping you get back into a routine for, um, you know, a New Year's resolution, like losing weight or just being healthier generally, whatever. So what they're saying here is that the goal for this month is self-love. You have to realize that love of self is necessary before you can love another. And so this is asking you to kind of look at these passions, these desires, like where are they stemming from? Hence this eyeball here is saying, hey, look deep, okay? 
Um, is it because you want to chase something because it's going to fill like an empty space? Because what they're saying is that's not going to be worth it for you and it's not going to work out because you have to love yourself first. But like if you are learning to love yourself first and really believe in yourself and release your fears, then you're completely unstoppable. Does that make sense? Okay, so realizing that you have to love yourself before you can attract love and all these positive good vibes into your life is very, very important. And that deals with all of the chakras. Okay. So what else is it that Tauruses need to know? And they're saying um, the Three of Swords, the Lord of Sorrow, might be where you've been. You might just be kind of feeling like as the month starts, a little bit bummed out, which is normal for a lot of people this time of year, a little bit disappointed, something let you down. Uh, but then you have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, and they're like, okay, well, this is the Lord of Prudence, and it's just saying things might go a little quicker and get better a little bit faster than you anticipated, but you have to let go of your fears and you have to believe that about yourself first and foremost. They're saying that things will stay exactly the same as they were um, if you believe that they will stay that way. So if you can find a way to really um, love yourself by, you know, clearing away your fears, believing in this positive, like, fire, go get them, uh, energies, then and that you know you are a limitless being things will change for you in very positive and wonderful ways and actually pretty quickly so uh as far as your crystal of the month goes we have two of them and so the first one is uh citrine and with this one this one comes in many different forms. So you have it in this form, you have it in like a cluster form. Isn't it cute? I really love this one with the point. Anyway, um, I always call this the anti-anxiety stone. It helps to get rid of anxiety. It helps to get rid of depression. One way I like to use it is I like to like rub it like a worry stone. Uh, but this helps to like eliminate negative thinking. It protects you in general. It kind of soothes uh, troubles that you might have in families or groups like disagreements. It actually helps you to better solve your problems. Like it makes your mind sharper. It helps you to be more creative, which is fantastic because we need these creative ideas to blaze ahead. Um, what else? It attracts wealth, which is good because we mentioned that wealth is um, ripe to expand and it increases your self-esteem. So that's fantastic. It does more things as well. You can look those up on my website. You can also purchase uh Citrine on my website if you want or from your local rock store. And then the other one that you have, I think you're the only sign actually who has two crystals this month, is Labradorite. And what this one does is it helps you to kind of figure out what is your destiny, okay? Like which direction should you be heading? Because you might be saying, okay, well this reading is like blaze ahead, do these things, like be creative, be passionate, be exciting, but I don't know what the fuck I want. <laughs> this will help you, okay? Um, it activates all of your chakras at the same time, kind of expands your consciousness. It gets rid of delusions or um, fears, that you might have with your sacral chakra. So I guess my thought is if you're only going to use one crystal this month, I would use a Labradorite. Um, the Citrine is very much one of my go-to crystals, but I would say um, this one is going to help you if you're feeling a little lost in regards to what's uh, what the energies are. So um, this one kind of helps you to manifest like new ideas and this childlike enthusiasm and it gets rid of loneliness and um, it provides a lot of support in times of change. And like I was saying, like this might not be the easiest month because it is for a lot of people this time of change where like things burn down and then now they're starting to sprout new again. So it's like new beginnings for you, for a lot of you. You know, we have that with the Ace of Wands. We have that with the rainbow um, energy. The number is one. It's all about new beginnings, putting yourself first, loving yourself before you show love to other people. So um, it's very much a one energy for you, you being the most important thing in your life in the month of January, and then um, receiving rewards from the universe, from God or spirit, whatever, uh, in regards to you having done that. So Labradorite is what this one is called, and the other one is Citrine. So um, I love you so much, and I'll see you in February.
Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!